for his soybeans and for his stringer for Colander. You rinse your soybeans with water. This water is warm. It doesn't have to be warm or cold. I don't think it matters. You just rinse the soybeans off. Sticking on the outside of the cloth. Okay. Slotted spoon. When you dish some soybeans into it, it is not a precise measurement. And I know that recipe without precise measurements can be scary. But actually, you don't really need any. So right now I have a Vitamix blender, and it's, the soybeans are about three cups. But these cups on the blender are slightly bigger than your measuring cup. Then I add water. Put it up about that far. Just about, this is about 12 by 16 or 18. And if you wet it, it will be better, but I'm going to rinse it out afterwards, so I don't really want it. Then, you pour your now soy milk into this. Okay. I leave this here to drain and I blend my next batch. You can see in the pot it's draining. Okay, so now we're going to squeeze out the milk. Okay, and be careful to get these as in because they, your pulp will ooze out. Squeeze little sections after I squeeze the whole thing and get all the milk out. And I like it, it strengthens your hands. Okay, now you can discard your pulp. A lot of methods will tell you to cook to, um, like. Pulverize the soybeans 
in the food processor or blender and put it in a pot and add your water and cook that then strain it but you can't strain out most of the richness because the pulp is so hot and who wants to wait to strain out the pulp so this method is really it's a really smart method okay squeeze out your cheese pasta there a while and then resume your process all over again and you already have your milk to start straining so you can blend the next batch. This will inhibit the heating of this of the soy milk and it will also make it very prone to boil over. And if soy milk boils over on your stove, it's very hard to clean the pot, very hard to clean the stove because it crusts and it becomes really hard, a really hard crust. And so this is one way to prevent it. A second way is to stir it often okay and your third way is no it's not really prevention it's when it does begin to boil over you just take some really cold water and just pour it in in the middle um, and once it's that you'll usually cool it down and stop the boiling over okay you want to stir the bottom so that it doesn't stick. It sticks very easily. Okay, this is the foam. Looks kind of like whipped cream. I'm sorry, yep. Okay, now you take your Epsom salt water and you're going to pour around the perimeter of your pot and then you'll kind of form a cross with your spoon. 
Well, this. Tofu has sat for 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and got quite a bit of bean curd on the top. We're just stirring, and you can see the curds of tofu below. Now, this water is going to have to turn clear, okay? So, in order to do that, you let it sit a little bit more, or you turn your heat on low, and let it just gradually heat up. We'll turn off our stove, and we'll bring our pot over to the sink where we will strain it. We'll just kind of take the tofu and just put it in the colander. And you can see how much tofu this is from four cups of soybeans. We be making trying to make tofu for years and our tofu was always low yield or either very strong taste. Finish with this? Yeah. 